two things I want to say. One is just uh, a shout out to like the, the Zig friends. I want to make sure that no one comes for me in the comments because when I say Zig is this weird little, you know, uh, obscure language, there's all these languages like Erlang and Zig where people are doing interesting, delightful work, but like the dark matter developer that like is just working at, you know, the IT department of like some random company may not have ever heard of Zig. Like if you're not the hacker news crowd, you've never heard of it, but it is a zero dependency drop in. C, C++ compiler. It does cross compilation out of the box. It's tiny. And I think I told you when we, when we met the first time that like, I would have bet incorrectly. Like when the Zig fellas mm, yeah. had the idea, I was like, this kid, God bless him. You know what I mean? And I, I would have, and I would have not quote unquote invested time or emotion. And I would have said, oh, you know, this is one of those hobby things, but gosh, darn it. If they haven't built a big old community just, you know, it's a simple language. It's fast as heck, which brings me to my comment. I thought it's funny that you're like, yeah, yeah, this would be two megs and that would be 12. And I'm like, I know websites with bigger PNGs than that. And they're like, okay, shipping that website. Like I've go to websites. Now you go to like the verge, you hit F12 and you're like, that's a 25 meg website, but you're <laughs> shipping executables that do 10 times more in half the size. Yeah. I just downloaded the, uh, I the uh, software for this microphone, 500 megabyte download to like control the lights. 500 the, megs yeah, to 500. have the microphone for the podcast. 